Honestly guys, hindi talaga kasi ako fan ng Vanilla Scented Perfumes. Guys, sobrang naging favorite scent ko din to nung pagkabigay sa akin. This next one, very special to sa akin kasi, you know, perfumes really bring back a certain memory. Ito guys, hindi ko na siya masyadong ginagamit. Sobrang tinitipid ko siya. Siguro once per year lang yung ginagawa ko per day. This next one, gusto ko siyang isigret ko din. So, Grabe guys, ano yun ba? Nabudol ko na ata to sa limang tao. Hola señoritas! It's Claudine and for today's video, I'm gonna do a perfume collection video. Before I begin guys, I just wanna tell you na even if mahilig ako sa perfumes, hindi ako magaling mag-define ng scent. So, I'm just gonna tell you what I think and feel about it and kung ano yung scent na naamoy ko from it. So, yeah. I have three kinds of perfumes here. We have cologne, eau de toilette, and eau de parfum. I don't own a parfum because I find it really strong. And yeah, I think eau de parfum is okay na for me. Yung mga ipapakita ko, wala siyang order. Siguro by brand na lang. Meron akong mga perfumes na iisa lang yung brand. So, ganun na lang yung ginawa ko. This first one, ito yung unahin ko kasi para ito yung first adult perfume ko. This was the perfume I used when I was in high school to college. Unfortunately, it's not with me right now. It's in Manila. It's the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It's my favorite, as in sobrang favorite scent ko yun before. The first thing that I got there is this Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Cream. I really love the scent of this because it's not that fruity. It's woody. Hindi talaga ako bibili ng ibang scents. Kunyari, naubos ko na yung Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Bibili ulit ako ng bagong same scent. So, Jo Malone is a cologne. Hindi siya EDT, hindi siya EDP. So, for me, yung Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt, matagal siyang mag-last sa akin even if cologne lang siya. Siguro marami talaga akong mag-spray, but I don't know sa iba. Di ba iba-iba yung effect ng perfume sa kada tao? So, for me, may mga colognes na sobrang bilis nang mawala. And meron colognes na nagla-last din sa akin. So, this Wood Sage and Sea Salt, it's woody. May maamoy kang musky. Dahil sa scent na to, dito ko na-figure out yung scent ko talaga. Dito ko na-sabi na I'm not a fruity person. Fruity person? Hindi ako yung kilig sa fruity. Sa sweet, sa floral, woody scent talaga yung gusto ko. As in, it's my scent. So I think dun talaga nag-start yung love ko for woody scent. Next is another from Jo Malone. So this one is the Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. Ito guys, vanilla scented perfume siya. Medyo powdery siya. And may maamoy ka rin na floral. Nung pagka-spray ko nito, na-shock ako na nagustuhan ko siya kasi it's vanilla scented perfume and kaya ko pala siya nagustuhan because mayroon siyang powdery scent. So aside from woody, mahilig din ako sa powdery scent. Honestly guys, hindi talaga kasi ako fan ng vanilla scented perfumes but this one is an exception. Super bango niya talaga. If you guys love vanilla scented perfume, grabe. I recommend this one. But I know this one is limited edition lang kaya 50ml na yung nakuha ko. This was a gift from my mom. We bought this in green belt and wala nang 100ml that time because out of stock na daw. So I just got the 50ml Mabango talaga to promise. Trust me. If mahilig kayo sa vanilla scents, sobrang bango, sobrang bango, promise. Nangingibabaw din kasi yung pagka-powdery niya, kaya sobrang love ko. Okay, so let's move on to Mason Margiela Replica Perfumes. I have three bottles here. Unahin ko itong dalawa, because these two are both 30ml. These are gifts from my sister, si Achi. Thank you so much. Alam niya kasi yung sobrang hilig ko sa perfume, so lagi niya talaga akong binibigyan ng perfumes ever since. So first, I'm gonna talk about this one. So this one is the Mason Margiela Replica in Bubble Bath. Grabe guys, sobrang naging favorite scent ko din to nung pagkabigay sa akin. Ang bango niya, as in! This one is soapy, musky, and powdery din siya, which I super love. Sobrang bango niya talaga. And naging top one to sa list ko before. Actually, dinala ko siya sa New York. Kaya ganito na kakonti. Sobrang amazed lang talaga ako sa Mason Margiela Replica Perfumes. Kasi yung names nila, this one, Bubble Bath. As in, yun talaga yung maamoy mo from the perfume. As in, parang fresh from a bubble bath. Ito yung ginagamit ko rin actually ito after maligo. Kasi sobrang nakaka-fresh. As in, if you want fresh scents, I highly recommend this one. Promise. Meron dito sa Rustance sa Shangri-La. I think meron din sa Rustance website. This one is Eau de Toilette. It's not Eau de Parfum. But it lasts long for others. But for me, kasi parang mabilis siya mawala. I don't know. A feeling ko sa skin ko lang. Kasi sa sister ko, I think matagal mag-last sa kanya yung Mason Margiela replica. I highly recommend this scent if you wanna buy from Mason Margiela. Okay, next scent from the same brand is this one. This one is The Whispers in the Library. This one is Woody. Gusto ko siya i-spray. Siguro sa tissue na lang. Para si mga halo-halo sa skin ko. Ayan, I'm gonna spray it here. 
This one medyo strong yung pag woody niya, so I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are gonna like this. Pero siguro yung mga mahilig sa woody scents na medyo may pagka-spicy scent siya. So feeling ko, I don't know if I recommend this. Medyo strong siya. But I like it because it's woody. Hindi naman siya amoy library. Parang, para siyang amoy papel. Siguro amoy yung libro. Ganon, yung mabangong libro. Yun yung amoy nito. Kaya whispers in the library. If you guys happen to visit your stuns and makita niyo yung stall ng Mason Margiela, tingnan niyo guys, sobrang dami nilang scents and sobrang unique. Kasi meron pa ata na naalala ko, meron parang sailing day ba yun na scent. Parang yung amoy niya, parang nagsisail sa boat. As in, parang nasa beach. Sobrang unique din ang mga scents nila doon. Meron pa nga atang matcha scent. So, another scent from Mason Margiela. This one naman guys, naka-pouch siya. If you buy 100ml, may free pouch ka with your picture. Ipiprint nila sa Polaroid. Super cute. Ayun no. I just let them print my sunset pic from Aman. Because, you know, beach walk tong perfume. So, the picture has to be at the beach. This one, sobrang bango din ito guys, promise. This one is the beach walk. Ito guys, this will be your summer perfume. This will be your beach perfume, promise. Oh my gosh, ang bango. <laughs> May pagka-coconut scent. Meron din siyang powdery scent, musky and woody. Oh my gosh, kinumbayin din lahat ng favorites ko. Ang bango talaga, promise. Oh my gosh. Kasi naging favorite ko yung bubble bath. So I think favorite ko na tong beach walk. Sorry, bubble bath. Ito talaga eh. Kinuha niya lahat ng favorite scents ko. Sobrang mag-imagine mong nasa beach ka. Yun yung gusto ko sa perfumes, guys. I think yung mga perfume collectors dyan, we all have the same reason kung bakit tayo nagko-collect ng perfume. Ito, naalala kong nasa beach ako. You know, perfumes really bring back a certain memory na pwede mong balik-balikan. Kaya this one, if you happen to use this at the beach, with your family or with your loved ones, once na maamoy mo ulit to, may certain memory ka talagang maaalala. Which is very nostalgic. Super, I love perfumes. <laughs> Arte ko, pero ang bango talaga. This scent, I remember a beach trip with my family. So, feel ko ito na yung i-perfume ko today since we're going to the beach. This next one, very special to sa akin kasi it's my current favorite. As in, top one siya sa list ko as of the moment. So, it's really um, special to me to be sharing this with you. This one is the Tom Ford Sole Blanc. Guys, yeah, sobrang favorite ko to. Actually, this scent is very similar sa beach walk. May pagka-coconut scent din to. May powdery din. And may maamay kang konting jasmine. But ang nangingibabaw is yung coconut and yung pagka-powdery niya. So if ever maamoy niyo tong scent na to, imagine niyo na lang ako. Grabe, I would call this my signature scent. So I just have the 50ml one, so if you guys wanna give me yung mas malaki, thank you in advance. <laughs> Sobrang bango niya talaga. I mean, wala akong masabi. This perfume is really perfect for me. Okay, so next one is this. Medyo halo-halo yung pasunod-sunod itong perfumes, but it's just random kung ano yung mabunod ko. This one is Tisan 130 na Chocolat. This one is a cologne. This one is citrusy, very fresh, very amoy baby. May pagka-floral din siya. The typical baby cologne. Ganun yung amoy niya. It really reminds me of yung mga baby cologne na ginagamit ko before. This one, I just spray this before I sleep. Tamang fresh scent lang before matulog. So if you guys want that fresh, citrusy, floral cologne, I recommend this one. Okay, next one. This one is Oud de Givenchy in the scent Rosy or Rosé. This one is a gift for my birthday from Lee family. Sobrang bango din ito. This one is Oud de Toilette. This one is floral but not so strong. May pagka musky din siya which I love. Grabe, na-realize ko, sobrang ganda ng combination ng floral and musky. As in, sobrang mas nagugustuhan ko yung floral scent ng perfume kapag may musky and powdery na kinombine. Siguro if I can compare this to a person, para siya yung teenager na very girly, na reserved. Ganun ko siya madedefine. I know this one is discontinued na. I'm not sure where else you can get it. Siguro may mga websites na nagbebenta. This one is also mabango. Okay, another gift from the Lee family. This one naman, Christmas gift nila sa akin. This one is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Paris. This one is Oud de Toilette again. This one naman, medyo may citrus scent siya. At the same time, may woody ka rin maamoy. So, nagiging okay talaga siya for me. So, citrus and woody, good combination as well. Ito, very fresh lang din siya. Perfect for everyday scent. Okay, so let's move on to Miss Dior. This one is their Blooming Bouquet. This is also Eau de Toilette. This one, I just repurchased. I have a small one. I'm gonna show you. Mali pala guys yung sinabi ko sa isang vlog, hindi 30ml. This one is 20ml. I bought this from Miss Charm on IG. Roller yung bottle niya. So, this one is Blooming Bouquet din. Ito namang Miss Dior. This one is medyo floral, fresh, and may maamoy din kayong parang rose na scent. 
So if you guys want floral scents, you will love this one, Miss Dior Bloomin' Bouquet. I can't say much about it. Mabango naman siya for me, but hindi naman talaga ako floral person. Floral person. <laughs> okay, so next one is this, Tiptique 34 Boulevard Saint Germain. This one, bihila ko na lang siya gamitin. Gamit gamit ko to though sa Manila. This was given to me by my sister, si Achi. Thank you so much. Nadami niya binibigay. Eto guys, um, bihila ko na lang tong gamitin. This one is kind of strong, but it's just eau de toilette. I don't know bakit siya strong for me. And usually, kasi pag ude toilet, dapat sato lang yung amoy niya. But parang perfume yung smell niya. Next to ude parfum is parfum, the strongest kind of perfume. I'm not sure though, baka may mas strong pa sa parfum, but yun yung vibe nito. This one is kind of warm, spicy, woody din siya. Pero very strong yung pagka woody niya. Okay, so next one is from Mason Francis Kirk de John. This one is the Backrat 540. Na mention ko na to sa what I got for Christmas. Ayoko siyang ispray kasi na ito yung perfume na alagaan mo. Ito yung perfume na for a special occasion. Lang. Sana binili ko pala ito ng YouTube Fan Fest. Ito na lang sana yung pinerfume ko para naaanala ko YTF. Siguro kung tao tong perfume na to, ito yung girl na sobrang bihira lang payaga ng parents kasi baka makidnap vibes. Ito siya. She's so special. Nasa ibang lalagyan nga siya. Hindi ko siya sinisiksik with my other perfumes. This one is woody and may amber scent din siya. Super ba mo? Promise. Mahal nga lang but I think it's worth it. Okay, so next is this one. Chanel Chance Utandra. Ayan. This one is Eau de Toilette. Yun nga, nasabi ko na to sa isang vlog na I bought this kasi grabe yung price difference niya. Sobrang mura niya sa States than sa Philippines. This is very floral. May pagka fruity. May konting citrusy scent din siya and it's kind of sweet. Perfect for moms. Ito sigurong perfume. Ito yung nanay na laging nag attend ng mga programs sa school. Yung ayos na ayos na mom. Which is my mom. So siguro ito talaga, it reflects my mom. <laughs> Amoy niya talaga yung nanay ko. So, if you guys want a perfume to gift your mom or your titas, this is perfect. I think they will love this. Mabango naman siya, but I'm really not a fan of floral scented perfumes masyado. But, mabango siya. Don't get me wrong. Next one is this Louis Vuitton at Chaprev. This one, very similar siya sa Chanel Chance. So, it's also floral, fruity. What else? May pagka-rose. Sobrang sweet ng scent niya. Um, this one reminds me of my mom as well. Feeling ko nabudol lang ako ng nanay ko dito. But hindi ko naman siya nire-regret. Siguro if may days na gusto kong magpa-sweet, pa-girl, I'll spray this one. But siguro hindi ko ito masyadong magagamit. This one is Eau de Parfum. And the best thing about Louis Vuitton perfumes, they super last long. As in, sobrang tagal niyang magla-last sa'yo. So worth it naman siya. So next is from Hermes. This one is rhubarb. This one is a cologne. Super bango din ito. This one is fruity, pero kakaiba yung pagka-fruity niya. Parang social. Sobrang social na pagka-fruity. It's kind of sweet as well. And sobrang na-refresh na ako sa cologne na to, as in. I have this one in a travel size as well. Super bango. I also recommend this one. Ang downside lang nito is that hindi siya nagtatagal. Because it's just a cologne. But mabango naman siya. Perfect also for everyday scents. Next from Hermes is this Twilly the Hermes. This one is the Charming Twilly scent. Ito guys, sobrang bango nito. Naalala ko yung pagkabili ko nito. As in, sobrang tinitipid ko siya. Siguro one spray lang yung ginagawa ko per day. Ito yung first perfume na binili ko na medyo mahal. Kaya sobrang tinitipid ko talaga siya. I actually bought a deodorant na same scent dito kasi sobrang bango niya talaga. Yung deodorant na yun guys is yung kinonfiscate sa airport kasi nga nilagay ko siya sa hand carry. Da dapat check in siya. Hindi ko na malayan eh. So, may white floral scent. May pagka woody din siya. Ang bango talaga ng floral plus woody or like citrus and woody. Sobrang nagiging mabango talaga with wood. Super bango niya. If you guys are planning to buy a perfume from Hermes, I highly recommend this one, the Charming Twilly scent. This one is Eau de Parfum, so it lasts long. So next naman is from Byredo. This one is Mojave Ghost. Itong Mojave Ghost, guys, it also reminds me of my college days. Dalawang perfume pala yung pinagpapalit ko ng college. Yung Jo Malone, Woods Agent Cecil, and this one, Byredo Mojave Ghost. And yung Mojave Ghost ko dati, bigay rin niya ng sister ko, si Achi. But, ubus ko na yun, syempre. This one is a new one. This one, may pag floral, woody, and powdery. Mm, perfect. Ang bango niya. Grabe, ang dami kong discover today ng mga preferred scent ko. And shockingly, nababangon pala ako sa floral kapag may hint of wood scent siya. This one pala guys is Oude Parfum. Next one is from Narciso Rodriguez. This one super bango rin. If you guys are a fan of powdery scent, super recommend this one. Ah, ang bango niya! 
Perfect for date nights to, as in promise. Ang bango niya. Medyo may woody scent din siya. May musky scent and white floral. Grabe guys, nabudol ko na to si limang tao and bumili na sila. Satisfied naman sila. So, I think masa satisfied din kayo if you guys buy this. Meron nito sa Rustan's website. Yung scent pa rin nito is Pudre. This one is Eau de Parfum. This next one, gusto ko siyang isikret kasi sobrang bango niya talaga. Um, pero wala. Sige, sabihin ko na sa inyo. This one is from Balenciaga. This one is Eau de Parfum. But they will discontinue this na. So, so, I bought myself one. Ito guys, yung scent nito is may pagka-violet, powdery, and woody. Kung yung narisiso ko guys, powdery scent. This one is parang stronger powdery scent. Ang bango nito, I think part to ng top 5 ko. Mamaya sasabihin ko sa inyo yung top 5 ko. Medyo mahihirapan ako nito, I know. So, ira-ranking ko pa siya. At mahirap-hirap to. Ang daming mabango. Okay, so we're down to our last two scents. Both are from Nilabo. Unahin na natin tong Suntol 33. This one, very woody. May pagka-powdery din siya. And medyo strong yung leather recent niya. So, I'm not really sure if magugustuhan to ng lahat. But, for me, I really like it. If you're a fan of woody and leathery scents, you will love this. I tell you guys, scents from Lelabo, guys, sobrang unique. As in, wala kang kapareho. But now na sinasabi ko na siguro marami na tayong magkakapareho. But, okay lang yan. What I love about Lelabo scents, sobrang iba yung amoy niya pagka-spray mo pa lang. And sobrang iba rin kapag tumagal na siya sa'yo. As in, nag-iiba yung smell niya. Mas bumabango pa. Alam ko yung ibang guys, perfume din nila is Santal 33. Super bang Last one, this one is the Noir 29, part of my top 5 as well. This one is Woody. May pagka sweet din siya a bit, but naging ibabaw yung woody for me. Ang bango niya talaga. This one reminds me of New York because I bought it there and wala, naalala ko lang talaga yung New York kasi first time ko tong maamoy sa Lelabo store mismo. And then this one, I bought it na sa Duty Free sa JFK, sa airport. Ito, gusto ko rin yung secret pero wala, sinishare ko na siya sa inyo. Okay, so let me just do my ranking. Okay, first time, first time for it. Here are my top five favorite scents. So, unahin na natin ang nasa fifth. Fifth ranking would be my Balenciaga Paris Eau de Parfum. This is very powdery, may hint of violet scent. This one is my top five. Top four would be this Kirk Dijon, the Baccarat 540. I think sa limang scents, dapat meron akong pang special occasion. So, this is it. Ang saya pa na mag-ranking ng perfumes. Parang feeling judge ka sa contest, ganun. Okay, so my top three, mahulaan nyo ba? It's the Maison Margiela Replica and Beach Walk. Super bango. Combination of all my favorite scents. May coconut scent siya. May powdery, woody, musky scent. This one is Eau de Toilette. So, hindi siya nagla-last ng super long. But, mabango siya. Yung top 1 and top 2 ko, hindi ko na ito pinag-isipan. Kasi sila na talaga yung favorite ko. Alam ko na. Eh, parang nasa mind ko na talaga sila. My top 2 would be this. The Lavo, the Noir 29. This one is so unique. Very woody. I love it so much. Okay, so syempre, yung top 1 ko, alam nyo na ulit-ulit na ako dito. It's the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This one kasi, I can compare it to this. Um, this one is a Maison Margiela and Beach Walk. And then this one is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Parang similar yung scents nila. But this one is Eau de Toilette. This one is Eau de Parfum. Teka, tatay kong amoyin both. Kasi parang medyo magkaamoy sila. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, magkaamoy sila. May na-discover ako! Magkaamoy to! Siguro I can spray this for everyday din. Tapos kung tinitipid ko yung Tom Ford, ito na lang pang everyday ko muna. Sige, amoyin mo. Parang medyo similar, pero mas mabango pa rin talaga ito ata. Ito si Tom Ford. Parang pareho. Very similar. Pakamoy. Oh, oh my gosh! Na-discover. Di ba? Okay guys, na-discover nyo na rin. Ang saya! Okay, so I'm gonna end it here. Wait lang. Okay, so I'm ending the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope nagawa ko yung request ninyo. Kasi kahit sa IG, ang dami nagre-reply na please do a perfume collection video kasi sobrang curious nila sa mga scents na ginagamit ko. I hope may natutunan kayong konti. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!